How Charles will support Kate Middleton and her family while the princess recovers from surgery at home. The royals don't usually visit each other in hospital, Charles and Kate's case is exceptional Rebecca English. The Princess of Wales is finally back home after her surgery. Unattended she will certainly not be left unattended loved ones are close by. We all watched with interest and not without trepidation the events that unfolded around this person. In mid-January, Kate Middleton went to the hospital, where she had a planned operation on the abdomen. The news stirred up the public, however, as reported by the press service of Kensington Palace, everything went well. After two weeks in a London clinic, the princess returned home safely and without witnesses to Adelaide Mansion in Windsor, where Prince William and her favorite children 10-year-old George, 8-year-old Charlotte and 5-year-old Louis were eagerly waiting for her. According to reports from Kensington Palace, Kate, 42, is taking an extended sick leave and will gain strength by socializing only with her closest relatives, her husband, children, her own parents, and her own sister and brother, who may visit the future queen at any time. She will not appear in public at least until Easter, which in Britain will be celebrated on Sunday, March 31st. Knowing the peculiarities of the character of the current monarch, King Charles, it is easy to assume that he is also unlikely to stay away. Charles' wife, Queen Camilla, has repeatedly emphasized his inherent desire to take care of those dear to him. Those who worked for him could always turn to him, especially in hard times, and Charles never refused. He did everything he could to help those in need, Camilla told The Telegraph in 2018. But what can the monarch do for William's family while Kate can be fully engaged with the children and the house? British journalists have already conducted an investigation and came to a number of conclusions. It is known that William and Kate fundamentally do without a small staff of domestic helpers. Despite the need to look after their three children, they have only one nanny, and that is coming, that is, not living in their house around the clock, which would greatly facilitate the life of parents. Help from the outside in this difficult time Welsh would certainly come in handy, although, and no one doubts it, the spouses are unlikely to ask for it not that character. That is why, according to insiders, Charles will be willing to lend a helping hand. At least the story of Sophie Winkleman, wife of Frederick Windsor, son of Prince Michael of Kent, cousin of the late Queen Elizabeth, is convinced of this. In 2017, Sophie was injured in a car accident, spent several weeks in the hospital, and then spent more than a month recovering at home. She once admitted that both during her absence and after she returned home but was unable to move freely due to her fractures, she had food delivered to her home on the orders of the future King Charles, which was prepared for her and Frederick's entire family in the kitchens of Clarence House, where the monarch lives. It can be assumed that Charles will probably take care of the Welsh in a similar way, especially since the family has no cooks of their own. It is known that Kate Middleton loves to cook and prefers to feed the family herself, teaching cooking and children, who master the subtleties of managing mixers and all sorts of kitchen gadgets from the age of three. The kids may have gotten into the culinary arts, but it's still a little early to rely on their cooking while mom is recovering. Prince William, 41, is keeping up with his wife, too. On the Mary Berry cooking show in 2019, Catherine told a little story about how he tried to impress her as a student and often cooked a variety of dishes. It is said that he can still occasionally pamper his spouse, but is unlikely to do it on a regular basis now. So the family really needs this kind of help, and it will surely be forthcoming. The royals don't usually visit each other at the clinic, Charles, and Kate's case is exceptional Rebecca English. Camilla saw her husband off today for a routine prostate procedure, and on her way out of the hospital, reporters asked her about the king's health. He's fine, thank you, Charles's spouse replied. 
Today's photo of Camilla Royal observers note that Charles and Camilla broke tradition as Elizabeth and Prince Philip arrived at the hospital unaccompanied by other family members. Rebecca English of the Royal Mouth, the palace's trusted journalist responsible for covering up any royal blunders or boosting ratings amid PR failures with her laudatory articles about the Windsors, immediately issued a new story. According to the journalist, members of the royal family never visit each other in the hospital, really? And the fact that Charles visited Kate, it speaks of her high position in the family and that her father-in-law adores her. And never mind that the king came to this hospital primarily for treatment. Of course it is fortunate that they are being treated at the same London hospital, writes Rebecca English. But don't underestimate the significance of King Charles's decision to spend a few minutes today at the bedside of his adored daughter-in-law. Along with his wife, Queen Camilla, her presence there was another historic break with royal tradition. His Majesty made his way to Catherine's room at the private London Hospital in Marylebone, where she spent her tenth night. The warm reception of the Sussexes by Jamaica's first officials could not go unanswered, and Rebecca was clearly signaled from the palace to describe Charles's arrival at the clinic as a demonstration of family unity and extraordinary love for each other, to point out to the Montessite couple how much they had lost. Say, look, Harry and Meghan, and weep bitter tears. The news of Charles visiting Kate in the clinic turned into a real PR stunt amid the Sussexes' reluctance to express public support for the ailing Windsors. He Charles adored Kate, with whom he shared not only mutual love such as music and art, but also grandchildren, the journalist writes. The royal believes she is doing a wonderful job raising George, Charlotte and Louis, and appreciates the very stable little family unit she and William have created and he enjoys the time he spends with them in Windsor, where they live just a short drive away. Surely there can be no stronger sign of their bond than the fact that the princess is so happy to see her father-in-law after an obviously serious and debilitating operation? There's no word on Kate's condition, but amid mounting questions, The Sun reported that William visits his wife. Carol doesn't visit at all. For every warm family gesture Charles makes to the Welsh or anyone else, the Sussexes bitterly state that they have always been unappreciated and neglected, and that they are convinced they did the right thing by leaving the royal family.